It's been good. It's been a lot of ups and downs, I think. Um, trying a lot of new things out this year. Uh, obviously hasn't really shown fruit yet, but that was kind of the plan. Um, obviously, it's not the best in season I've ever had. Uh, the best in season I've ever had was 51.7, and that's what I went in the Olympic final. So that's kind of the problem I'm trying to solve. Um, and I'm focusing a lot on the 200 this year. So kind of didn't, that was not very surprising to me. Put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm swimming a lot more. Um, I'm lifting a lot differently. Uh, trying to just think of it as uh, committing to things beyond just the season. And uh, not that I'm not trying to be at my best this year. This I'm trying to be at my absolute best by July. But, uh, you know what? I'm still coming back from surgery. So there's that too. I've never had surgery before. So. Um, not that that's an excuse or anything, it's just like, yeah, that was a huge different thing. It was five to ten weeks of little to no training uh, from November till basically through Austin. Yeah, yeah, I was down in Chula with John and those guys, and then um, just before that, Ashley and Coach Rose kind of let me in on their little camp, and then um, I just did two and a half weeks by myself uh, with Coach G, my wife, <laughs> um, at the Olympic Training Center. So just kind of trying new things. Um, you know, it's been about, man, I graduated in 13, so it's been five years of every year being like, hmm, this might be my last, you know? And uh, that becomes a little bit more salient every year, so I just kind of wanted to go out on a, uh, not that I have that mindset, but I wanted to do it, wanted to try some things out my way um, before I lost that opportunity. Um, you know, I'm fully committed in my mind through Tokyo, but, um, you know, I'm very thankful to Tier and Yusuf Swimming and the opportunities that they've given me, but uh, if those go away, then obviously I gotta pay rent something. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, I've I found that, you know, I can be a lot more disciplined than I thought I ever could. Um, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot, there was a lot of like negativity in my own head and um, the way I went about my life. And so it was just, when you're by yourself, you have to address those. It's like a lot more just dealing with yourself. Um, so it's been interesting. Yeah, it's been a cool growth process. I listened to a lot of um, that book, uh, Extreme Ownership, by Jocko Willink. Uh, highly recommended. Um, and just trying to kind of, I guess, live that down. I'm really starting to commit to that 200 more and more. Um, you know, I feel like I was able to make the Olympic team um, through racing and through just wanting it more than the other, you know, the other guy next to me. Um, I don't feel like I've put a whole body of work together in that event, and I want to do that moving forward. So that's how I'm trying to change. You know, um, more than that, I guess it's just that more like totality of focus that I was lacking through my early 20s for sure.